New shooter coverage of Cine Gear 2024 is sponsored by b &H and Atlas Lens Co. I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com and we're at Cine Gear 2024 here in Los Angeles and I am with Gregory from The Lens Cuff. How's it going, Gregory? Oh, it's going great. Oh, yeah. So uh, you have a really cool product. You, you hunted me down and you said you got to check this out. This is really cool. It's an interesting way of adding motors to your cinema lens that doesn't require using rails, correct? Correct. And uh, it solves a whole lot of problems. It's a patented solution that allows you to attach the motors directly into the lens thereby eliminating all external off-axis forces that would bump the lens, skip your teeth, eventually ruin the mechanics of the lens, Absolutely. and cause you a whole lot of frustration. And also, it's cleaner, like, I think it's a big deal that you don't have to have rails on the base. When you add rails, you gotta have a base plate and the whole, and then you gotta make sure the lens is mounted to, as well, to the rails, cause you get bounce. This solves a lot of problems and it's super clean, right? Exactly. Yodo, talk to me about how it's mounted uh, and how did you come up with this idea? So uh, I'm a VFX artist and during the pandemic I received a whole lot of footage that I had to reconstruct where it was focused on the back of the head instead of the eyes and that's a very tedious thing, not creative. So I came up with this and uh, apparently it's, uh, I turned it into a product. Fantastic. Now, is it uh, compatible with pretty much any cinema lens out in the market today? Nearly every cinema lens. Uh, you could either attach it to the very front where you attach the matte box. <laughs> uh, like, you can share the space. Doesn't need much. And uh, you can attach it to the middle of the barrel in between the gears. That's the ideal spot because you get to use the short stubby rails. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get a nice compact rig that you get it all nice and balanced and you can move from sticks to gimbal very easily. And you can use, it has a two rail slots so you can add two motors, one on each side. Yeah, you can balance it. You can have one on each side or you can have two on one and the, uh, the iris on the other side. So as the rail goes through, you'd have one motor on the right side and then one motor on the left side? Yeah, you can use even longer rails if you mm. want. It's just I'm giving it with with stubby rails and they're threaded on the end so you can have a sprig for cable management. And then so you, when you buy the kit, does it come with different like adapters for different lens diameters? Yeah, uh, each lens cuff can accommodate all the way down to uh, almost a centimeter of uh, diameter in uh, standard diameters for each one. And uh, well, that's about it. Sorry, I got lost. No, that's fine. And it, if, uh, if somebody has a lens that's not standardized, that's something you can help them with and still get so they can get into the system? Sure. You've got two options. The thickness of the lens cuff is exactly the same as ProGraph spike tape, so you can line the inside with a little bit of it. Or you could go out of the way and 3D print and insert for yourself. But Fantastic. usually you can accommodate any lens, all the way from uh, the Laowa nanomorphs that are uh, 58 mil in diameter with the mirrorless, all the way up to 114 for now. And you can put all of the high-end motors on, on your cup. Exactly. It, in, it can handle up to 10 newtons of torque, and you'll be just fine. You barely even have to hold the motors to calibrate. Mm. Most of the time, it's hands-off. And you were showing me, and we'll also demo, that, demo this, but you could do something insanely fast, like really fast uh, you know, push-ins with those fast, with these very strong motors. The lens does not shift at all. It doesn't move at all. Yeah, I set the torque to maximum, and you can just do it like this, just as... Mm. Boom, and it's yeah. just, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really great. Now, you were also telling me uh, you have a newer product because this is really kind of a more higher end one. This, the, the, the lens cuff original, what, how much does it retail for? It's 499, but uh, I've been getting requests from people that use lower end motors like the Tilta and DJI, and they have lower torque, and they mostly want to make a more compact rig they don't really care about the, doing fast posts or anything. So we're launching the Landscape Light, which is uh, made of a carbon composite. It's Cerakoted, and uh, it's really nice and light. So this gives the smaller, lighter, more affordable lenses. Yeah. You get the same sort of effect, and you can still add two motors on there because 
You know, although it doesn't have it on both sides, right? It only has it on one side. Yeah, there's no need for that. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for the little guy. <laughs> and how much does the light, uh, the lens cuff light, retail for? It's uh, 119. So that's considerably different. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, it's light. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if people are interested in learning more, uh, where do they? Where can they find you? Where can they buy these? Well, they can buy it in the U.S. through Rivarcine or through thelenscuff.com. Can't be any easier than that. Yeah. <laughs> Gregory, thanks for sharing. It's a really great product. Have a wonderful show. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Thank you.